Now stay tuned for an all-new Cross-Armed Opposites. This guy. No. This guy. No. This guy. No. This guy. Both of us. <laughs> Chris and Paul present This is the Topic. It's the adventures of two lifelong friends as they explore a new topic each episode. Join the guides for music and fun, and if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. I'm your announcer, Michael Foster. Now, here's Chris and Paul with This is the Topic. Thanks, Foster. <laughs> number 11. 11. That's a lucky number. Hi, Chris. Hey, Paul. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm I'm thrilled and befuddled. You kind of mixed it up and threw something new on the beginning of this. It's the uh, the promo for cross cross armed opposites. <laughs> That's funny. We've made jokes about that um, for years. Yeah, cross arm opposites. And now it's on our podcast. But we're not opposites. We're just a couple guys that you know pull a topic from a bag. Yeah, it's that easy. That prompt us to talk about things because I mean the whole prompting thing is so. Hard to do. I can't think of reasons to talk to you. You know. Yeah, this is good. It it actually gives us a reason to talk so. to each other. Right. Yeah, I I think it's brilliant. We should do just sometime. Maybe we just do it now. Okay. Okay. No prompt. How are you doing, Chris? Eh. Thanks for joining <laughs> us, folks. That's not the topic. No. That would be a much more efficient podcast, but not nearly as fun. Right. So you have the bag. I've got it here right in front of me. And um, it's exciting because this is the time when um, you pull the bag. What? <laughs> I do. I do. And you pull the white stuff out of the bag. Oh, gross. And you tell us what the topic is. Okay, here I go. I hope new listeners understand the gimmick. <laughs> Here's the bag. And I'm pulling a topic out. Number 87, singing. Ah, singing. Yeah, this should be kind of fun. Yeah. So I've got a number of questions on here. I'm just, I'm going to throw the first one out to you, Paul, and let's see what you do. Let's do this. Have you ever done karaoke? I have done karaoke. Yeah? What'd you sing? Oh, it's, it's a song. It's a kind of obscure song. A lot of people haven't, don't use very much on karaoke. It's... Uh, journey, don't stop believing. <laughs> wow! I don't know if you've ever. You are so unique. Yeah, <laughs> it's something that you should consider. But uh, you know, I don't do karaoke very much. It's because it's weird. Mm -hmm. And uh, but there is something about singing, Chris. And maybe you've you've reached a topic that I can think about regrets. Yeah. Because when I was a little kid, I was in like the kids' choir and I could sing. Yeah. And I was in musicals in elementary school i could actually sing and then somewhere along the way i didn't okay you you just quit I just when quit you say singing. you didn't i just or... quit singing okay but i can sing and the only proof i have of this is that my daughters are amazing singers yes and because i sing to them their whole lives and they've picked up on the love of singing the love of performing and they actually, you know, had singing lessons and uh, instruments and actually can be considered musicians. And I think the reason I didn't is a little thing called laziness. <laughs> it may be a theme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it may relate to more than but just singing. But singing is something I could have done more, I think. Yeah. Um, your daughters are both amazing at singing. And I, I'm actually heartened to hear you say... I can do it. Yeah. I can sing. I mm -hmm. can be good. I remember listening to this or actually reading, I think, years ago. It was a Ken Blanchard thing where he talked about if you go into a kindergarten room and you ask everybody, hey, yeah, who's a good singer? Right. Everybody's hands will go up. Mm -hmm. Then you go back two years later at second grade and maybe two thirds of the hands go up. And by the time you get to sixth, seventh grade, it's just the few kids that are in choir and everybody else has been beat down and yeah. doesn't believe they can sing anymore. 
Well, and what's so weird for me is that I got positive reinforcement as a little kid singing. And then somewhere along the way, I got too shy and I was self-conscious, I guess. I don't know. I started liking girls or something. I became self-conscious. But think of it. You know, like Sinatra or Elvis or the Beatles, they never got any chicks, right? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't know why I didn't try to be a singer. That would have been a, a thing I could have, you know. Well, oh, we'll see. You know, there's that yeah. song, whatever that song is. Star Spangled Banner. Yeah. yeah. I could have sang that song at the, um, you know, roller rink or wherever they needed it. <laughs> Now, do have, they do that at the roller rink? They should. This okay. is America. Now, you, do you sing? Have you ever sang? Yes. In fact, a uh, couple of fun, fun facts about me when it comes to singing. I was in the sixth grade singing group, the Blackburn Expressions. Oh, I think I've heard the story before. Yeah. And I got a solo when we sang Oh, What a Beautiful Morning, which is a song from the Rodgers and Hammerstein musical, mm-hmm. Oklahoma. I sang that song to my daughters last week when we were on vacation. Did you really? Up. Yes. yes. See? Uh, so I could sing then. I actually wrote a verse for our school song in Ooh. sixth grade as well. Mm-hmm. So I feel like sixth grade is where I peaked when it comes to singing. But I have done, back to the question, I've done karaoke on a number of occasions. Okay. Um, I don't know if I have a go-to song, but I've done um, Convoy a couple of times. Yeah, that's a fun. Big one. favorite. Yeah. Big, big favorite. And then I can't remember. I know we were on a cruise one time and I ended up doing like a duet with somebody. I remember this. I don't remember. There was someone, there was a drunk who drank a lot of whiskey who was yelling, boo, you suck. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it just totally crushed me. I was, uh, no, I, I, why did did I do that to you? (laughs) Well, because truth be told, I did suck. Oh, okay. About. You know, a third of the way into the song, I'm like, all I'm doing is screaming into the microphone. This is terrible. <laughs> which is funny because when it comes to other things, like sometimes I feel like, yeah, I sing pretty good, which mm-hmm. is kind of a lead into this next question. Can I just go back to how much fun that was? Yelling, you suck. People, <laughs> people in this area didn't know that we were friends or were even together. And they're just like, this guy's so terrible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you weren't discreet. At no, all. No. Uh, as loud as I could, you suck. Yeah. Get off the stage. You suck. <laughs> boo! I, I remember loud boos following the me sucking <laughs> part of it. I got to tell you, I got to be honest with you, you didn't suck that bad. <laughs> I was pretty but, bad, but, but maybe was, not that bad. It was bad. funny, though. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, do you sing in the car while you're listening to music? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Sing in the car, the shower. Yeah. Me too. And... More recently, I will sing in a bar, like if Jane and I are in a bar and there's a jukebox, she will take over the jukebox. And if she plays a DeBarge song (laughs) with all the falsetto stuff, Uh oh, I just belt that out. Hardcore. When we we were, uh, me and my family went to Scottsdale, Arizona last week for vacation, and there's a, a bar that I've been to before. We deliberately went there, made the girls go there. I'm um, called the Rusty Spur, and they got a guy up there with a the guitar, and you tell him what song to sing. Mostly country music song, but mm-hmm. he was playing some Beatles and stuff. And we're just having the time of our life, sitting there in a bar, middle of the day, just <laughs> singing. And then these uh, this other cu- uh, couple comes over. Well, you guys are good singers, and they tried to harmonize with us oh, and stuff. Oh God! And we were having a ball. We were having an absolute ball. That's fantastic. Yeah. I had a similar thing, but not in a bar. Last Wednesday night, um, Jane and I went out on a little date night. Aww. And then we came back and we sat on the side porch. Jane is right. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about that one. We sat on the side porch till one in the morning and we have this little Bluetooth speaker out there. Mm-hmm. So Jane's going to Tidal, which comes free with your Sprint subscription. And oh, she's geez, pulling up commercial. all these old songs. That I loved a bunch of old cool in the gang and stuff. And I sang my heart out. Yeah. Until one or one thirty in the morning. The neighbors have to hate me, but God, it was so much fun. Isn't it amazing now all the music that you can listen to? And, yeah. And I don't know if you noticed this as your kids. My daughters, particularly my daughter Madeline, knows every word to every song there ever was. <laughs> 
Oh, does it's she like, really? How do you know a '60s song? The only way I knew a '60s song because my dad had it in the car mm-hmm. playing sometime. But they just they have access to everything and have heard everything. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I have noticed that about my dad because I often will be like, "How do you know that song?" Yeah, right. Well, I've listened to it, or yeah, yeah. I, it it is amazing. I mean, you have instant access mm-hmm. to a song anytime you want to hear it now. Now, when you are singing in the car, you've been caught by someone looking at you in the past. How, yes. How, what'd you do? I keep singing. I'm with you, man. Yeah. I, I remember in the past I'd be embarrassed, but now I'm just... To me, Maybe it's, even pointing at them and... Hey. Yeah. It's kind of evolved right along with me getting caught picking my nose in the car. Mm-hmm. I used to be self-conscious. Now... Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm digging around. Okay. You can look or not. Right. That's it's up to it's you. your choice. Right. Not mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I feel like singing really lifts the mood. Mm-hmm. Now, my wife claims that she knows I'm in a very good mood when I sing in the shower. Oh, okay. She can tell I'm going to have a good day that way. Yeah. And I had, I didn't even notice that myself. Mm-hmm. So. And do you find yourself sometimes singing like you didn't intentionally start, and then yeah, you're like, oh, absolutely. Well, look at me go. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Me too. Yeah. All the damn time. We were... This last weekend down at Table Rock Lake, my mother-in-law rented out a house, and my wife, Jane, my wife. Okay. Jane is right! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my daughter, Abby, and Jane's daughters, and Jane, so we are all there. And about halfway through the weekend, I remember consciously thinking... Man, everybody must be sick of it because Jane and I sing all the time, either independently or one of us starts and the other joins mm-hmm. in. But it just it just makes me happy. That's good. Yeah, I just have a good time with it. Now, you kind of answered this, but I'm going to ask this question again. How good of a singer are you? Yeah, I mean, I guess I would say that if you were to. if you, OK, so. If I were to audition for American Idol, yeah, or The Voice, I'd be laughed off stage as soon as possible. Oh God, please audition! But I think if I did a karaoke and I went up there, they'd go, "That fat guy's not as bad as I thought he would be." Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So I would rate myself a six out of ten. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. What, what would you say? Let's say you're more like a four. Okay. But no, Fair I enough. I know I I. I think you're good. For me, when I look at how good I am, I'm not a great singer. Here's what I think I can do. I can could sing well enough to not be taken seriously as a singer, but not make people hold their ears, a la Will Ferrell. I was just watching Step Brothers <laughs> the other day. Yeah. And in the scene where he's going to show John C. Riley just how good of a singer is when he's singing Let's Give Him Something to Talk About, I'm like... Okay, he's not terrible, <laughs> but he's also not a combination of Fergie and Jesus, as John C. Riley he's says. He's been called the songbird of his generation by those who've listened to him. Yeah, sometimes when he sings, he feels like he's hovering up above his body, mm-hmm. watching himself sing. Do you think Will Ferrell, because I, I watched it a couple week, weekends ago, do you think he thinks he's a good singer, or <laughs> do you think he knows his skill set? I think he knows his skill set, and... Maybe I'm going too far out comparing myself, but I feel like that's where I am yeah. in that same boat. You like, could pull it off and it'd be funny. I, I could sing for a comedy sketch yeah. and it would be okay, yeah. you yeah. know, but I'm under no delusions that I'm a Pavarotti, you know, have you or been a called, Leif Garrett. <laughs> have you been called the songbird of your generation by those who have heard you? <laughs> <laughs> Not even one time. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I have been told that mm-hmm. I have a mangina. Oh, so okay, yeah. that's happened. Sure, before. sure, sure. Okay, last <laughs> question, Paul. Do you think people are born good singers, or can someone learn to be a good singer? Ooh, boy, that's a good question. I know. That's why I asked it. Um, and also because it was written on this piece of paper. I, okay, I, I've I've deliberated it. Yes, I've thought about. It. I think you got to be born a good singer. I think you be born a good singer, and you can learn to be a great singer. Okay. But I think if you don't have it in you, you can't, you can't pull it off. I, think, I just, I, it's, it's to me exactly like an athletic ability, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And I, I love the story. I love telling this people because I'm 
taller than most people and they right meet people that go, Oh, did you play basketball in high school? You were tall. I go, No. And my dad <laughs> built us a basketball court in the back of our house. I remember that. And I spent hours and hours and hours back there. Yeah. And you know what they say? Practice makes perfect. No, I suck at basketball. <laughs> and I always did. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yes. there's just some things, some abilities some people don't have. It doesn't make them worse than another person. Yeah. But I think singing is one of them. I think you can take whatever amount of talent you have and turn it in make it better i just yeah. don't know how good and you look at all these uh people in movies like a bradley cooper or a joaquin phoenix mm -hmm. or reese witherspoon who have been in movies who? where reese, reese witherspoon. witherspoon yeah <laughs> where they play singers and you're like wow they sound really good yeah. but then again not everybody pulls it off because uh what's his name rami malik did not sing mm -hmm. the songs in the bohemian rhapsody movie so apparently yeah. some people can get it and some can't and that's okay the the musical chicago came i just couldn't believe richard gear could sing mm. and then mm -hmm. you think about it for a little bit these actors they're like three years old when they start well they were they were they were confident paul they were in little plays and stuff <laughs> and then encouraging and then they yes. didn't get beat down so they learned to sing and dance they can do everything yeah. By the time they get that level, you know they can do anything. Yeah. Or they really can't, but they believe it and people buy into it. Right. Um, AKA Hugh Jackman. Right. Oh my God. I wanted to poke my eardrums out in Les Miserables. Same with Russell Crowe there. Yeah. Like these guys? Right. Right. Really? Right. They were terrible, yeah. but people bought into it and loved it. Yeah. So I don't know. I guess confidence will take you places. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know either. Um, so singing. Yeah. So we suggest to people to sing. Oh, absolutely. And have fun with it. Yep. And, you know, you could be on a softball team. That doesn't mean you have to be a professional baseball player. Heck, you could have a podcast. That doesn't mean you're a professional broadcaster. <laughs> and you can sing in your car. You don't have to be the winner of The Voice. Yeah, absolutely. You could just try to explain and have some good times with your talents. Yeah. Just just sing. Just express yourself. It'll make you feel better. Yeah, for crying out loud. Yeah, so will heroin. So <laughs> <laughs> that's, en that's enough of our show. Uh, enough of what I would say is our best show oh. so far. Oh. Yeah. Thanks. Huh. Oh, you bet. This is the topic has been a KCTK production produced by Chris Whiting and Paul Lavoda. All rights reserved. For more information and content, email us at kctkradio at gmail.com. I'm your announcer, Michael Foster.